Good afternoon, golfing fans. Welcome back to the channel, proudly sponsored by betting.co.uk. So I'm just back to bring you two of my best selections for this week's BMW International Open over at München Golf Club in Germany. And this is one of the signature events for the DP World Tour season. And we're back on a very long golf course this week. It stretches over 7,300 yards. So it definitely takes a different approach to finding your selections this week to what we've had in recent weeks. We've had much more shorter courses, more strategically um, laid out golf courses in recent weeks. But this is definitely going to take a class player to actually win this week. So I can't see a massive shock on the cards. But I do have two selections for you that I think are well worth a go. Before I go on to bring you my two selections, be sure to go over and check out betting.co.uk for all of your exclusive offers. We've got free bets, sign-up offers. We've also got um, content for football, golf, horse racing, all of the good stuff. So make sure you go over and check those out before you place your first bet of the week. So the golf this week takes place at München Golf Club over in Germany. Now, this is, of course, as I said, that stretches well over 7,300 yards. So it takes a very different approach to finding your players this week. Um, in recent weeks, we've, of course, we've had the KLM Open, the Italian Open. Now, these are courses where you really do need to sort of plod your way around the golf course to give yourself some good opportunities. But here at the BMW International Open, I think you need to be quite a classy sort of player if you're going to be finding yourself in the winner's enclosure. I can't see too much of a shock uh, for this week event, uh, this week's event, uh, but the two players that I've got for you, I do think have a really good chance of going well. So we're going to go straight on to it now. And selection number one is going to be New Zealander Ryan Fox, who's currently world number 62. Um, hasn't really had the best season of things so far over on the PJ Tour, but coming back here uh, to this goal club, I do think he's going to actually excel and go pretty well. Now, what I like about Ryan Fox, he's got a very repetitive golf swing, especially with his irons, and I quite like that sort of factor coming into this week's event. And he is quite sneakily long off the tee as well, which you are going to need if you're going to be attacking a few of these par fives uh, in two. Of course, if you're attacking these in two and you're managing to find the flat spots on the green, then you're going to give yourself a really good chance for eagle. And at worst, you're probably going to find yourself a birdie. So I definitely find players that have got enough length off the tee. And you do really want to find yourself quite a classy player for this week's event. So Ryan Fox is going to be selection number one. Not only is he good um, off the tee and with his irons, but he's had a very impressive short game. It's actually improved in the last few seasons. And even though he hasn't been in his best form this year, he's been far from disgraced in some of the big tournaments. And I think he's going to come back to form this week. So 20 to 1, probably short enough for Ryan Fox, but he ticks all the boxes. He's got all of the right attributes for this sort of golf course. And I think he's going to give us a really good run for our money. Selection number two is going to be Thriston Lawrence, who's a player that's definitely starting to trend back in the right direction. Plenty long off the tee as well. And he has won on tour a few times already. He hasn't actually played since the European Open going back about three weeks where he did finish in the tie for second. He actually started that week of a really poor opening round. I think he shot 74 on the opening day, but he continued to progress throughout that week and seemingly got himself back into contention and just fell short of getting himself across the, uh, the winner's line. He didn't play in the Italian Open or the KLM Open, but I don't mind that. He comes back here for the BMW International Open. As mentioned, this is a really long sort of golf course and probably favours those that hit a nice soft fade off the tee, especially as well with their irons, because a fade here actually suits the approach shots much, much better. He's another, he's got a seriously good short game. He's got the right temperament for this as well. And we saw signs last time out that he was really coming back to form. He did say he was going to take a few weeks off before coming back into this event. I quite like that approach for three and he's got a game plan at the moment and he's probably going to be quite hard to keep out of the frame. Uh, Thurston Lawrence, you can get a 30 to 1. I think he's got a pretty decent chance here and I think he's going to give us a real good run for our money. So just two quick fire selections for you for this week's golf, but I have also put up two long shots at 200 to 1 over on betting.co.uk. If you'd like to go over and check those out, I will pop a link in the description below. And as mentioned, make sure you go over and visit there to get some exclusive offers and your free bets before you place your first bet for this week's DP World Tour. Short and sweet for you this week, guys, but hopefully we can have a nice look a nice bit of luck and find ourselves in the winner's enclosure before we head on to next week's event. Thanks everyone for tuning in once again. Please do hit subscribe and I'll see you all real soon.